right now, if you stake your SUI, you could get about 3.27% on average when staking with a validator directly. But if you take on a little more risk and do a little more work, your rewards can be up to 32%. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to maximize your rewards by getting involved with liquid staking using the SUI wallet and with Aftermath Finance. Now this video is sponsored by the SUI Foundation, but I like working with SUI because it's good. It's a really good blockchain and I want to showcase all the different features, how easy it is to use and how good the interface is. So I'm going to be showcasing that in this video as well as some of the risk because if you stake with a validator directly, yes, the interest rate is lower, but you're taking on less risk because when you have other protocols building on top of a blockchain, that can introduce additional risk in case there is a vulnerability or a hack or something like that. But by you taking on that risk, there are more incentives. Before we jump in, we should also understand what is liquid staking. Now this is a good article by The Block, so I'm just gonna use that. Now liquid staking refers to obtaining a tradable asset in exchange for staking a cryptocurrency in a proof of stake blockchain. So in our specific situation, that means we are going to trade our SWE for something that represents staked SWE. And by having that other token represent our stake, that makes it liquid, that makes it tradable, and it makes it available to use on other decentralized finance platforms. Because unlike traditional staking, which locks up a user's tokens until they're unstaked, liquid staking lets users retain access to the value of their staked assets for use across decentralized finance applications or other Web3 tools. Because when you stake your coins to a network, it's locked on there. Sometimes it takes a while to unstake them. Sometimes it takes a while to get those rewards and you don't really get that compound interest, which means you get APR instead of APY, a lot of technical things. But to put it simply, liquid staking just simplifies that process where you can get more value out of staking. So now let's set up our SWE mobile wallet. We are in an Android device, but it is available for iOS devices. And we are going to the Play Store. We're gonna search for SWE wallet. And then we wanna look for the one by Mistin Labs that has a significant amount of downloads. I expect there to be a lot more. The mobile wallet launched very recently. So uh, yeah, those downloads should start trickling in and we're gonna install this. And we open it yeah, pretty quick. And now we can sign in. We can either restore an existing wallet with a passphrase or a private key, or we can log in with socials like Google or Twitch. Now I've set up this account before with a Google account and it just takes a few clicks to get started. So I am gonna log in using my Google account that is linked to my SWE wallet. And now we have a prompt to secure our wallet, protect your wallet with additional security, and we definitely want those biometrics. We don't want anyone to just use our phone and uh, send transactions. So you wanna make sure those security settings are on. Then I'm gonna authenticate it. And that's it. Less than a minute, just a few things I had to add. And my wallet that is linked to my Google account, which you can set up in just a few clicks, is linked with my SWE mobile wallet. So. Now that we have this set up, we can get started with some liquid staking. And we have a few options. So in the center of our screen here, it says stake your SWE to earn. Allow your SWE to work for you by utilizing it to earn passive rewards. So we're going to hit start staking SWE. And we want to start by understanding the risk. Staking lets SWE users play an active role in supporting the network. When a user adds their SWE to the stake of a particular validator, they help that validator operate and earn a percentage of rewards based on their stake. Now that is what happens with native staking. So if we hit begin native staking, stake value locked, we can see all these different validators and the earnings we would get. Now the earnings isn't really what we're gonna get because each one also takes a commission. So we wanna understand what their commission is and how much we're actually gonna get at the end. So uh, we're not gonna do that. We wanna look at liquid staking. So back at the home page, we're gonna hit start staking SWE, begin liquid staking. Now we can go with either Aftermath or a Hadle. These rates could fluctuate in the future, but right now we're gonna use Aftermath. 
Now we can enter the amount of SWI we want to stake and it lets our entire balance become available. We're gonna stake 500 SWI. So I'm gonna hit stake now. And then before we confirm our transaction, we go over the details, the estimated gas, the rate, and what we're gonna receive. So even though we're staking 500 SWI, that is not equivalent to 500 AF SWI, that's after math SWI. It's not SWI AF, it's just AF SWI. <sighs> a lot of letters. But that's because the value of the AF SWI will fluctuate as the rewards are rolled into the price of AF SWI. So now that we're ready, we can hit stake now and we're gonna authenticate our wallet so that transaction needs an approval. And it's loading, we let this happen. We just wait a moment and the transaction is complete. There were no edits there. One confirmation, that's it. That's why I like SWE. And uh, yeah, now we are liquid staked and we can use that AF SWE to earn even more with other protocols. Switching over to the desktop, right now we are at the official aftermath.finance website. That's where we liquid staked our SWE. If we connect our wallet and scroll down, you can see our 500 SWE is available as AF SWE now. And in the event that we wanted to unstake that and just have SWE again, that's very easy to do. You can go to Aftermath Finance, you go to unstake, and then you can unstake all of your AF SWE back into regular SWE. Now the unstake process will happen uh, at the end of every epoch, so the amount of time is very different depending on when you're doing it, but the most it can be is 24 hours, and you can also unstake instantly for a fee. Now another option you have to trade your AF SWE back into regular SWE or another cryptocurrency is to trade it. So you could also go to trade, and then you would trade your AF SWE, and we're gonna find that at the top here. And then we can trade that back into SWE very easily. So we're gonna get a quote in a second, and if we did that, we would be down 0.31 SWE, and that's mostly because there is a trading fee to use a decentralized exchange like this. Now, I know that's a lot of different terms, we're gonna take it easy. Basically, we are trading our SWE, which is the coin for the SWE blockchain. We're liquid staking it, and by doing that through Aftermath Finance, we're getting a liquid staked version of SWE called AF SWE. And now we can use that in different protocols to earn more. So we're back at Aftermath Finance, we're at the staking page, and it gives us a few options. We can either use Bucket Protocol or Scallop. These are lending protocols or we could use a vault like Typus Finance or Strader, or we can use decentralized exchanges to trade it or provide liquidity, and we could be earning rewards from that. And that again is through either Aftermath Finance, Cetus, Turbos, Crea, Flowex, we have quite a few options. Now we're not really gonna jump into the weeds of how you can earn through liquidity providing because that just means you're putting up your liquidity, you're earning a fee from that, and we're, comboing in uh, liquid staking. So that's essentially the idea, but uh, if you're new to DeFi, it might be overwhelming. So forget I said any of that. And we're just gonna simply jump into a protocol that you can use right now to earn more from your SWE than just staking directly with a validator. So we're gonna go to Scallop. It is a lending and borrowing platform where if you lend out your AF SWE, you could get about 32% at the moment. Now that rate can change depending on how much people supply to this platform because there is only a set amount of incentives available. So you can see here, base APR 8.37% and reward APR 23.55%. So these are incentives coming from the SWE network just to incentivize people to start using these decentralized applications. So that is the rate you're getting on the lending platform. But if we also go to the borrowing side, and then go into the borrowing pools, we can see that if you borrow AF SWE, you would be paying about 15%, but you would be getting rewarded almost 40%. And this is the APR, and that's what it is at the moment. By the time you see this video, it could change very quickly, because it really depends on how many people are sharing those incentives. If there's a lot of people, those incentives go down. If there's a few people, those incentives go up. 
So how do we use Scallop to earn more from our liquid staked AF SUI? We're gonna go into lending. We wanna make sure our wallet is connected. And for myself, I am using the SUI wallet Chrome extension. It is very easy to use. I am using a burner email address just because I don't wanna take the time to censor my, e my real email address anytime you see this in this video. So let's get started with uh, Scallop and earning more. We wanna make sure our wallet is connected. And if it is, uh, it's gonna look something like that. It's gonna show our balance and our address. We wanna go to lending and then we're gonna scroll down to AF SUI. So you can see here, our current supply is zero. So we can supply this. Now we're gonna hit supply. It shows we have 490 AF SUI in our wallet. I'm gonna hit max. We're gonna hit supply AF SUI and stake SAF SUI. So staked AF SUI, S-A-F-S-U-I. Lot of letters, but it's gonna start making sense over time. And now we can just approve this transaction. So we have a pop-up from our Chrome extension and all we have to do is hit approve. And that's it. That's why I like SWE and using their DeFi ecosystem. I'm not consistently approving and supplying and clicking buttons and waiting for that to happen. It's one click and it is supplied. So that's it. No more clicking needed, but we will have to uh, click out of this. So uh, that's the only way for this pop-up to, to go away. I'm just gonna click somewhere behind it like here and it's gone and you can see that our balance was updated. So our supply 490.08 AF SUI and at the moment we're earning about 32% in APR. Now this is APR and not APY. That means we have to claim those rewards if we want to compound them because if you have APY, that means those rewards are automatically compounded. We're gonna see the rewards we're earning in real time up here in pending yield. And at any time you like, you just wanna hit harvest all and you're gonna get another pop-up and you just hit approve. And then the yield you've been earning just appears in your wallet. That's it, one click, that's gonna update. And yeah, no edits there, super quick, one click. That's we. And if we want to close our AF SWE position here, we just have to withdraw our funds. So you're gonna hit withdraw the amount you want. Let's say max, scroll down to unstake SAF SWE and withdraw AF SWE. Then we're going to approve the transaction. And then we should have AF SWE back in our account. It will just take a moment. There it is, it's done and the yield that we were earning is still sitting there and we're just gonna harvest all of that to make sure we don't leave any money on the table. And then if we want to trade our AF SWE back into SWE or other coins, then we would go back to somewhere like Aftermath Finance and we would be able to trade our AF SWE back into SWE. So that's how you use the SWE mobile wallet, the Chrome extension and how you do liquid staking. It is a little more advanced if you're not used to DeFi, but I hope this video was very helpful because now you're on your way to earning more rewards and getting involved in Sui's DeFi ecosystem, which as you can see is very smooth. And I say this after using multiple blockchains, many EVM, I've used the Cosmos ecosystem, I've used Solana, I've used Bitcoin, Ethereum, a lot of L2s is just a much better experience because it's one click, it's simplified, you have parallel transactions, so many things are happening in the background, and there's a lot of other features too that we didn't get into this video, but if you watch this playlist here, you can learn a lot more about SWE and why I like it. So if this video was helpful, you know what to do, and with that, I hope you got your full value for today.